So in conclusion then, it's not just a question of whether we can work with nature, it's a matter of we have to. We have stripped away our forests, we've intensively grown monocrops, we've changed river courses and poured into them deadly chemicals which are going to echo through the coming generations. We've watched as jungle and grassland have turned to desert. We've seen millions and millions and millions of tons of topsoil washed away, silted up natural defences, silted up into the seas. We've built dams and then we've mismanaged them to the point of collapse. Libya, Kenya, Brazil, just three recent examples, and I won't go on, but we could talk about our oceans, our glaciers, the air that we breathe. So humanitarians, just like the rest of the world, we can't dither or wring our hands in the face of such destruction because we have no planet B either. And as I said last year, this event, I said to be a humanitarian now is to be an environmentalist. In fact, it's to be a climate chaos activist. It's not an optional extra. But the good news is we have hundreds of success stories and examples and guidance where we're beginning to turn things around. But we've all got to do more because we're on the wrong side of history when it comes to passing on to the next generation this fragile earth.